Welcome to this latest edition of Notes from the Control Tower, and in this episode we're going to be discussing the Holiday Maneuvers event that begins tomorrow, and also update 2.1.11, particularly the buffs to the 12.7mm American machine guns. Hello there, and today the World of Warplanes team revealed details of the event that's going to run over the Christmas holidays, called Holiday Maneuvers, and as you can see here, it will run from tomorrow, midday after the update has gone through until January the 19th. So that covers, more than covers, uh, the Russian Orthodox Christmas as well. Now, it does say here, join the Jolly Winter Marathon and collect candy to get premium aircraft, days of premium account, gold, and much more as a reward. Well, we'll discuss the rewards in a moment, but what on earth does that mean? Well, those of you who were in the game in 2018 will remember that this event actually has taken place before, although with different rewards. And I think what we're going to be presented with, if you like, is what I'll call a candy trail with a number of waypoints on it. And in order to progress from waypoint to waypoint, you'll have to earn candies. How you do that, we'll discuss in a moment. And at each waypoint, you'll get rewards. Simple. Well, it won't surprise you to know that I believe the uh, major reward of this year's event will come as the last waypoint on the candy trail. So I think it's time to go and have a look and see what you might get. So if we just scroll down and we look at the holiday gifts. There are three premium aircraft, uh, a tier three through to a tier five. And then here's the big one, the one that all of you will desire, I think, a new premium aircraft the Convair XFY-1 Pogo. And this was an experimental uh, VTOL aircraft um, that the Americans were working on. The Russians had an equivalent as well, or a similar uh, design, intended to launch the, itself off carriers by taking off vertically. Uh, it didn't progress very far and the project was abandoned in 1956. And that is a tier eight premium. Well, we don't have any statistics on that, but I do know that the aircraft itself was fitted with guns and rockets. It'd be interesting to see what comes transpires when this aircraft, uh, aircraft details become available to us. And there's a whole host of less, lesser um, uh, uh, rewards that we can get. The decoration set for what's called a decoration set, what I would call a livery, what you may also call a camouflage for the new tier eight plane. Festive consumables, they'll be sparklers. They're quite amusing, but trivial. You can sell them by the way, not for much, but it's always worth having a few extra credits. Uh, loot boxes, okay, tokens, slots in the hangar, and so on and so on. You can read these for yourself down here. There's lots of goodies on these waypoints. One thing I don't see mentioned, but is a possibility, is that you'll be able to get extra candies at certain points in, in the trail. That will be useful, as I'll explain later. Now, there's also some special gifts, uh, and they call them festive totems, um, uh, on this occasion. Previously, they were ice sculpture animals, if I remember correctly. But basically, as you progress, as you play the game, you can decorate what will be a special hangar or an outside scene, a festive outside scene, I predict. Uh, and you will get, for the period of the event, and whilst you have um, these uh, tokens, totems, I should say, sorry, uh, unique bonuses in the game, which will last until the end of the event. So, for instance, the sign of the vulture will boost credit earning, Sign of the Raven, more crew experience. Sign of the Hawk, more free XP. And Sign of the Owl, additional battle experience. So basically boosters, quite nice to have. And there's some holiday achievements as well. You can get her emblems, uh, sorry, actually they're achievements to, to list in, in your achievements panel. Okay, so let's have a quick check and see how we're going to get uh, these candies. So here I'm circling the ways that you can get uh, pieces of candy. And apparently what there's going to be are three missions a day, one easy, one averagely difficult, and one difficult. The easy mission will give you two pieces of candy when you complete it, three pieces of candy for the average dif averagely difficult one, four pieces of candy for the difficult one. In addition, if you earn over 8,000 personal points in a single battle, you also get an extra candy. And I'm hoping this is going to be repeatable. And here's why. December the 15th through to January the 19th, and if you take the times into account, is just a smidgen under 35 days, but let's call it 35 um, for argument's sake. Having read the Russian forum as best I can, I don't read Russian, particularly Grinaldi's post, I believe, and I emphasize believe, that you're going to need 600 pieces of candy to complete the entire trail. 
Well, that's over 17 pieces of candy a day if you play every day. Well, you can see that if you can only earn nine from the missions, this had better be repeatable. And even better, I hope that there are candies uh, available uh, along the uh, candy trail itself. Otherwise, if you want to get the tier eight premium aircraft, you're in for a month of serious grinding. Well, probably a few of you right now are thinking, I simply haven't got time to do that amount of grinding. How on earth am I going to get all the rewards? Well, you won't be surprised to learn that there's a, a way that you can purchase uh, progress. And here it is down at the bottom. You can drop into the premium shop and, well, it says grab certificates. I think they mean pay them lots of money for the certificates and progress a certain amount along the trail, I would predict, or indeed complete it all in one go if you've got the money. How much is these likely to cost? I'm not going to say. Uh, the problem is that the World of Warplanes team have a habit of bundling uh, certificates uh, with uh, other goodies and bumping up the price of the bundles. I dare say there will be certificates that you can buy on on their own. All I can say is that a premium aircraft is often something like 35 to 40 pounds. Um, uh, that's uh, British currency, of course. I'd like to think that you could buy uh, all the certificates you need for something like the same amount of money, but we'll just have to wait and see uh, what transpires in the shop tomorrow. Well, I think that completes my brief explanation of what I think this event is going to be, how you make progress, how you get hold of candies, how you get rewards, what the rewards are. Um, just to prove that uh, it actually took place uh, uh, in uh, a, previous, uh, a, a previous Christmas, slightly differently, but uh, as you can see there, pretty much the same idea. The rewards were slightly different. I've already mentioned the PV3 uh, with uh, Rudolf Hawker as special pilot, uh, but there were also what were then the new aircraft for, um, for the British multi-role line from tier seven through to tier nine, the Typhoon, the Tempest and the Seahawk, the Hunter came along a little bit later. But essentially, if I'm right, then this year's event is a copy of this one. Um, the descriptions I've given you of what I think you're going to find should be reasonably accurate. Anyway, let's move on from holiday maneuvers and let's go, uh, turn our attention to update 2.1.11. So here's the page for the update. And basically on December the 15th, that's tomorrow as I make this mid video, um, for four hours from nine until uh, one o'clock uh, Central European time, eight or 12 UK time, um, the servers will be updated with update 2.1.11 and that will be pushed out to your clients. And what are we going to get? Well, we've already talked about the, the new tier eight reward aircraft that we can get as part of Operation Holiday Maneuvers. And there's just a, a piece of text here, which I'll, I'll quickly um, examine by completing daily missions, which we've talked about, three of those, and earning personal points in battles, 8,000. You'll be able to advance along the festive progress bar. Okay, I think that's going to be a candy trail, but a progress bar, it's all much of a muchness. It's the same idea whilst collecting numerous gifts, including in-game gold and so on, totems, which give you boost boosters once you've earned them uh, for the duration of the event. And this confirms that the grand reward, I guess the final reward, is that aircraft, the tier eight fighter, the new one. However, and here's what else is in the update, which is of extreme interest. The effectiveness of large caliber 12.7 millimeter machine guns has been improved for a number of aircraft. Well, by and large, we're talking American aircraft with their Daka Daka machine guns. There are a few others, of course, a British one, a Chinese one, but let's go and see what we've got. I'll do this one down below first. Some characteristics have been increased for the large caliber machine guns mounted on the following aircraft. It's just damaged 10%. Well, that's not to be uh, sniffed at. And what have we got? That goes through from tier three to tier five. And if you own any of these aircraft, you'll be quite happy with an, a, a buff to the machine guns. Simple as that. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Look at that list of aircraft. All the way from tier three, right up to the tier tens, including the Sabre. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. What have we actually got here? Oh, it's even better. Fire range has increased by 10%. Oh, wow, that's really useful because as you know, the machine guns are notoriously short range. Damage output by 20%. Well, my first I thought is, I think we need to have a look at the American Sabre in detail. 
that's going to be a huge buff. Potentially, that's going to make that the go-to fighter for Tier 10. What other aircraft have they got in here? Have they got the uh, American Aero Cobra? Or oh, for that matter, the Russian one. Yes, they have. Look at this. Both of these have got a pair of 12.7mm machine guns, and this one in particular is already best in class in terms of its damage output at Tier 6, and it's getting a buff. Wow. Could they possibly have put the twin Mustangs on this? Oh my word. The American aircraft are going to be seriously improved by this buff, and a lot of you will probably be cheering in the aisles because I understand in uh, version one of the game, and of course this is version two, these aircraft were much more powerful than they are now. And a lot of people complain about the machine guns, they just don't do enough. Well, it sounds like the World of Warplanes team has been listening to you. I'm looking forward to seeing how um, this uh, uh, update affects all of these aircraft. So what we're going to do next, since I'm quite excited, we're going to have a close look at the North American Sabre and do some um, figure work and see what the improvement's likely to be. So here's one of my familiar spreadsheets. And in this case, we've got all of the Tier 10 fighters. And the Sabre, as it appears in the game, it currently is here in two columns and then if i've got my sums right this is the buffed saber so what have we got well the cumulative dps is going to go up from 480 to 576 a 20 percent increase that doesn't actually move it into third position but it's an awful lot closer to the mig 15 bis bis and the swift uh, it's going to give you 96 dps per machine gun as opposed to 80 and then the range buff which is 10 percent is going to take it from 1969 to 2166. Well, here's the thing. The F-86 Sabre is already the best anti-fighter fighter at tier 10. And this is just going to make it so much better. Now, I can't tell you whether it's going to upset the balance of the game. I've got a feeling it won't, but it's going to make these F-86 Sabres much more of a handful. And they are already a handful. What's it going to be like for all the other aircraft? And you saw there were a lot of them. Well, again, it's difficult to say. You'd have to go through it uh, um, aircraft by aircraft. But I've already pointed out that the American Aero Cobra has got best in class DPS and it's getting a buff. So that's going to be even more of a handful as well. So there's going to be some gems. People will be delighted that the Mustangs have got better guns and so on and so on. Personally, I think this is a good change. I hear tell that in uh, version one of the game, the American machine guns were a lot more powerful and a lot more usable, uh, and people enjoyed them a lot more. And they've been a little bit on the anemic side generally, I would say, uh, to the point where a lot of people don't actually like flying the American aircraft. Well, today, or rather tomorrow, you're gonna get a buff to the machine guns and they're going to be just that little bit better to fly. And I think this is a good move. I'm looking forward to trying out all of these aircraft. And there we have it. World of Warplanes team have given us a holiday event. And the main prize, the grand prize as they put it, is a new tier eight premium aircraft. And there's plenty of good stuff to be had as you work your way towards it. I wish you all luck with your grind on this. It's gonna be a hard one. And I hope the result, uh, resulting aircraft is worth it. I'm sure it will be. All the other reward aircraft that have been put into the game this year have either been good or too good. <laughs> We've also got the update with the really good news, at least I believe it's really good news, that uh, the 12.7mm machine guns on a lot of aircraft are going to be improved. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. Well, I hope you found that useful and that if you did, you'll come back and see my future content. But until the next time, this is the Noble Q signing out.